Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Power World. So, uh, things have happened. Done multiple things. Not explored anywhere, but I've done a lot of building things. I've also turned off the motion blur in the graphics settings because, embarrassingly, I didn't realize until episode three how bad it looked played back. Like, I don't know, sometimes when I edit, I just go into a trance. And also because I've already seen it all, and my eyes aren't paying much attention to it, so I don't see very much. But I've turned off the motion blur. I think it's better. It looks better from where I am now. You guys will have to tell me when you watch it back but it seems better but yes the base has been transformed upgraded updated you could even say we've got walls we have a power generator and a wmd to power it we have a home made of stone a big stone house i'll go through this as quickly as possible but everything's more neatly arrayed and we've got that there and you know two floors of stairs up so there's more space inside and there's all this up here and that's lovely of course, the big pal still struggled to get in here, but Gebra managed to find a way in. That's good. You're producing bullets. I'll take some of those. Thank you very much. And then out here, we've got fluffy beds and also a normal bed. That ain't right. Which that should be a fluffy... Oh, I can't do it right now. It's never fucking mine. But mostly fluffy beds. And yeah, just everything looks generally more neat. The walls give it a more cozy feeling, honestly. It feels more enclosed, more protected, more secure. I quite like the look of it. Also, I have a gun now. An actual gun. Crazy, I know. And I have a musket on my back as well, but the reload time on the musket is roughly the length of a- God damn it. The reload time on the musket is roughly the length of the three Lord of the Rings films back to back, so it's kind of agonizing to use in combat. And you know what? They are actually raiding, but guess what? I don't need to be here for this. So let's move on to the second base, because I have two now. I have two now. Check this out. Syndicate Raiders aren't invading this base. I don't give a fuck. But I did set up over here next to the chapel, and it's a, it's a nice little place. It's got walls as well and a natural cliff face protecting it, but this is mostly here so I can harvest the nearby ore. There is tons of metal here, which I can make use of. There are ingots here, Flashy's currently working on this. I have a question as well for those of you who might know a little bit more about the game than I do, because it seems like some of the people are watching are in fact people who have played it yourselves, and you have some experience of it. Uh, Flashy, during his time in the first base, developed an easing disorder due to stress. Now he's here, his stress is consistently decent, but it's of a decent level, but I don't know how to treat his eating disorder. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Because, you know, he looks sad all the time now, and I don't want him to be sad. Like. <laughs> His, that condition of his doesn't affect his ability to work, but it makes him sad, and it makes me sad, so I, want, I was just wondering if there was a way to fix it. Please let me know. I would appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, there's a living accommodation. There's fluffy beds. It's all very good. The desolate church. And I've set this place up for the purposes of big business. I just have a ranch full of cats making money. So this base exists for the purposes of producing ore and cash. And it does a pretty decent job of both of those things. Now, hopefully, they update the game. They have done a patch. They did a bug-fixing patch, which is very good. Glad to see they're doing it. But I'm hoping they patch the uh, powers so that they will mine nearby resources that aren't quarries. Like, you know, if there's an ore deposit here, they will just mine it. Because so far, they haven't been doing that, and it's very annoying. Because I have to mine it all myself, and it takes fucking ages. And kind of defeats the point of this base, almost. But it's fine. So yeah, that's what's going on with us at the moment. Today is going to be more exploring. I want to see what's out there. There's stuff to see. I'm looking forward to going and seeing it. They really are struggling with this, aren't they? Well, I ain't going to help them. Yep, they've left. It turns out the way you defeat raids in this game is to just build walls and then they can't get in and they get sad and they give up. We're ready to go exploring. And I've noticed that there's like a boss down there and a boss up there. And they both look rather intimidating. And I say we go straight for them. I want to see what's going on there. Get some new alpha pals. See what we can get going. I should check my, um... Fucking hello. Um, hi. Just gonna... Feel bad for this, but I really need to capture you. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's roughly what I expected. Can't believe that initial... 
Holy shit, I'm rolling hot today. Bron Cherry, its scent drastically changes before and after pairing. It exudes a pleasing aroma after finding a partner, which is called the Fragrance of First Love. How delightful. Well, we've caught one of those now. So I've decided what I'm going to do in most combat encounters. I'm just going to leave the musket loaded and then use it to land a first powerful shot and then switch to the pistol. I don't have a silver key. Well, I did my best. Come on out, Bibby. Oh. Yes. So one of my favorite ways, like back when I was forced to use the musket because it was the best thing I had, one of my favorite things to do was to roll up on fools and pop them. Speaking of which, I don't think we have a Kelpsy. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that, but whatever. Ow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ouch. Go on, get in the ball. Go on, get in the ball. Get in the ball. I'm not asking. Ow. Good. Oh, I already had a Kelpsy. I didn't think I'd caught one before, but apparently I did. Hey, it's fine. We got more. Power fluids are always helpful. Let's get moving. We got stuff to see, so... Yeah, pretty much a straight path from here down to Sealed Realm of the Swordmaster, which is straight up just those, like, weird boss locations in, um, in Elden Ring. It continues to take influence from other properties. I am noticing this. But, to be fair, the game- the stuff the game does itself, which could conceivably be considered its own things, it does quite well, so I'm not really that bothered. Oh god, I hate those fucking things. Go on, get out of here. Shoo. Idiot. Oh god, I hate you. Rex. Being able to do mounted combat with the pals is actually really fucking good. I like this a lot. It's done very well. Especially since it does 100, it is 100% just their move set that you're using as well. It's not as if like, oh, you know, all mounted uh, powers have the exact same moves. It's like they have whatever fucking moves you give them, and whatever they happen to have if you haven't given them any. And that's really good. There was a mozzie nearby. Oh no, it's not the mozzies I'm looking for. I want the the flossy ones because they drop pal oil, and I really need pal oil all the fucking time. Duck. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Uh, what? The next thing I needed to learn how to make was a fucking power sp Yeah, sphere assembly line, that's it. I need to go to level 27 first, though. I hear gunshots nearby. I do believe combat is occurring. Oh, hey, well, we can't let that stand, can we? I don't like those syndicate thugs. Especially when they start attacking cows. Who jumps a cow? Bodied. Nice. If that works, that'll be so funny. Nah. Oh no! I thought you'd survive that. Oh god, it dies like the ants in EDF. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Moving on. So apparently there's a bushi around here, and they look pretty fucking scary. Yeah, it's just down the end of this road. It's gonna be in an arena as well. So last time we did this, we were fighting Pen King, Pen King, and he kind of kicked my head in. I remember this. We're gonna need snoots. I'm pretty sure. Sealed realm of the sword master. Strange that they would lean into such a thing considering the melee in this game is absolute. Whoa. Okay, he's straight up going for it. I don't like the fact. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna do something like that! Oh! What a fucking Chad! Well, we all know that the samurai were defeated and made irrelevant by with the advent of gunpowder. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I just happened to have recently discovered guns. And Snoots is also pretty tough, so you know that helps. I think the musket is a good shout here. It does enough damage. And Snoots can hold his attention. Vagrant Warrior! Ah, ah, Vagrant Warrior! Alright, Snoots, come back. I don't want you to kill him. I'm going to have to handle the rest of this myself. Unfortunately, I have the reaction time of a dead rat. Case in point. <laughs> he, I didn't dodge it, he missed. There we go, that's better. I know what he's doing. Ooh. There we go, and then we move, we switch to a bear sphere. Breaks out. Wobay out. I will use a Giga if I have to. Wobayams. Come on. I know you want to get in the ball. I know you do. Come on, you bitch. Come on. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know. Ah. Oh. Wait, yes. If I can just get behind you. If you. You're not going to let me, are you? All right, fine. If I just keep throwing them at him, he'll give up eventually. The law of averages and probability dictates that you will give up eventually. Ouch. That does sting. They usually manage to get an attack out. Come on. Oh, you bitch! Ow! He lands a hit each time. I miss, and he killed me. Well, I feel it's kind of annoying. He didn't beat me because he beat me. He beat me because he wouldn't stay in the ball because the law of averages was not on my side. And I wasted a bunch of ammo and weapon durability and uh, and armor durability and... Oh, oh. Do I have a sphere workbench? It would be a bit weird if I didn't. I don't think I... Yeah, because when I uh, remade the base, I kind of had to dismantle fucking everything and put it back in. And uh, I think I may have not built a new Sphere workbench. Lots of free money. Like, I know 300 gold coins roughly ain't much, but I'm just getting it for free while I'm doing other stuff. It's a pretty good deal. They tell. Cool. Right. Well, we're ready to try again then, aren't we? Anyone made any more bullets? No. Because they're all lazy and they don't do their jobs. Except for Vault Hog. He has definitely done his job. He's doing a great job. Let's try this again. We've got another fucking boss fight to have a go at after this anyway. Busy, busy, busy. And then plenty of land to explore, which I'm looking forward to. You mess with the pal, you get the 50 cal. Even though this pistol is aggressively not 50 cal, but shh, 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 doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Blam! We're doing it. Oh god, he's doing. Okay, I've always doing his big thing. Just give me 20 minutes to reload, if you would. Ow. Just need 20 minutes. Okay. Just gonna hide behind here for oh, for a while. Don't mind me. Good. He's quite durable. He's quite- he's got a lot of defense. The pistol don't do much. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Wow. Libby just took a bad hit. Alright, Libby, uh, come on back. I'll cover it from here. We're nearing the end of the fight anyway. One more headshot out. We'll do it. There we go. Come on, be nice to me. Fuck. Come on, be nice to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, there it is. Oh. Its body becomes a blade upon death to be taken up by the next generation. If someone other than Ibushi wills this blade, the soul within torments them until they are driven mad. So, you know, good times all around, really. 
That's pretty cool. I want to go back and check them out. Finally got a samurai power, which is not really something I was expecting, to be honest with you. But hey, we've got one. I'm quite pleased. Does it actually drop a sword is the question when you kill it. Hello, friend. Uh, go on, just stay in the ball. Just stay in the ball. Ah, there's a good chap. There's a good chap. Leather and power fluids are always useful. Let's go home. We need to see our new friend. And probably check in on base stuff, because you always need to give those pals a little nudge to make sure they're doing the right thing. Also, also, I don't know if I've shown this on camera or not. Now might be the time to do so. If you see this funny looking podium here, well, you can go on it to violate basic pal rights. You can demand normal work, which is humane. You can demand hard work, which is cruel. Or you can demand super hard work, which is brutal. And, I mean, I don't know. I don't need them to work faster, really. They do fine as they are. So I just leave it at normal. But you can do that. And maybe it'll be useful in the future. Like, I'm trying to produce ammo. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe that would be a good idea. Plenty of jam-filled buns. They love jam-filled buns. The people here eat well. In fact, they have an incredibly sickly diet. It's jam-filled buns and candy floss, which... It sounds like my idea of hell, I've got to be honest with you. I really like savoury food. I don't think I could handle that much sweet. I think I would feel perpetually sick. But, you know, the pals are made of sugar and spice and all that jazz. They, pro they don't mind it, they like it. Plus, the heavy sugar diet keeps them feeble so that they cannot rise up against me. I have a whole incredibly monotonous system involving uh, ingots and stuff, which I'm honestly going to do my best to relegate to off-camera, because that is off-camera time logistical crap that you guys don't need to concern yourselves with. It is long and arduous. Don't worry about it. Look at all this stuff that is just not being taken to where it's supposed to go. What are you doing? You're grazing? We'll get in there and graze! <laughs> Fool! Oh I, oh, I sent him to bed. <laughs> oh, I hope he enjoys his snooze. <laughs> Alright, next. Sealed Realm of the Thunder Dragon. Relaxorus Lux. So, Ampharos, basically. Let's go have a look. More friends. I'm well equipped, I think, for where I am. I haven't found any schematics for better guns, so... These will have... God fucking damn it. Oh, and I missed as well. Oh, I'm a disgrace. Get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Fuck's sake. Come on, reload. I'll catch you. As, a, as an example to the rest. I said I'll catch you. Yes, I will. I accidentally threw a Gigasphere at him. Well, it better fucking work. There we go. Onward. I haven't really explored the bamboo grove, so it'd be nice to have a look through. Oh, it cursed me. I didn't check in on our friends. Uh, I'll do that next time. I just forgot. You know, I'm a very forgetful guy. A lot of stuff happens, and I forget. And, and even not much stuff happens, and I still forget. And what were we talking about? Blap, blap, motherfucker! The bronze cherry is attacking the syndicate. Blam! We can help with that. God, it's so nice to have a gun now. Like an actual gun. Like a real gun. Not a bitch gun. This is still a bitch gun, but it's still also a gun. Be free, little friend. I can always do with more friends. Hello there. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Come be friends. Bristler, which I have caught one of before. I think I bumped into it off camera and I was like, well, I'm not letting that get away. I want to see what it's all about. 
I think she's working at the... maybe the second base? I don't know. But I remember them being pretty good. Good pals to have. They're all good pals to have. I like all the pals, honestly. I really do. They're all great. I love the way that all of them exist and are here. Surprise! Yeah. Sorry, I need more pal oil. <sighs> Shit. How dare you? Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, but I don't want to waste all of my pal spheres before I get there. Oh, look, there's obviously a lot of them around here. I'll just come back through and go on a catching spree later. Like some sort of heavily armed Cruella de Vil. I think Libby might be my favorite pal. It's, it's between her and Snoots, honestly, but being able to ride around on a giant wolf and to be able to shoot from the back of a giant wolf is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Call me basic, but this is pretty neat. I like it. I enjoy it immensely. Ah, another syndicate base. Ooh, they've got a little... They've got a thing in there, and they're level 19, and BAM! I fucking missed. Fear my warning shot, the one that was intentional. Blam. Cool, that did it. Peekaboo. Okay, now we'll do real combat. Yaw! And then the tornadoes! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, the power of a good ambush and guerrilla tactics works every time. Be free, my friend. Come join us. You're a spicy fellow. No joke intended. Lovely. All right, well, we're not far from the Relaxosaurus Lux, which I imagine is going to be quite a tough fight because it's even further out from where we were before, so it'd be reasonable to assume that its level is higher. I don't know. Just putting it out there. Probably is. Oh, an ambush. Fuck. I was say, I heard a lot of guns loading all of a sudden. See, this eliminates the disadvantage of the long reload time on the musket, because you can fucking move. So you take the shot, you run off, you reload, and you fire again. I fired, and I hit. I ate a popsicle, he passed out in the snow, and I fired. Reloaded. Took four hours, Now I missed. More thugs, I dare say you guys are a plague. Fuck. Charge! Bitch. I got something for you. <laughs> He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. Shit. I accidentally threw a power sphere. I didn't mean to. Whoops. He's so slippery. His friends call him Slippery Joe. Jesus Christ, I just can't hit him. There we go. Even he can't dodge a gun. God, there's more of them. Well... I have kind of declared war by this point. Oh, I wonder where that incredibly loud gunshot came from and why your friend suddenly fell over for no fucking reason. Ah, oh, must have been the wind. Strong winds today. There we go, Jesus Christ, they don't even drop anything good, they're just good workers. <gasps> oh, they're hostile! Oh! But it's, it's, it's friend! Yes! Well, bams! Oh, you want to go into melee? We can go. Youch, we shouldn't go. Oh, the damage! The damage! The damage! <laughs> Fuck! Stop hitting me! Oh, I need a new. I need a new sphere. I caught, contrary to its blase appearance, it's quite ferocious. It perceives everything in its sides as prey and will stop at nothing to devour it. Yeah, you know, I did kind of get that impression. A lot of pal oil, though. Holy shit. Okay, things went well. All right, let's regroup. 
Good lord, uh, a lot happened. So, technology, let's get down there and have a look. We can, in fact, make a sphere assembly line. We can also make hyperspheres. That's quite good. We can make a bathroom set, which we can't use. So what's the point, really? Well, that sphere assembly line needs to be my next goal, because that will allow me to upgrade the base again. Bibby is injured. She needs to recuperate. I don't know why I have a woolly pop as one of my actives, but... That's pretty neat, I suppose. We'll bring Snoots with us for this engagement. And then as for this, uh, let's see. Apparently attack is not great, but I would like my pistol to do a little bit more damage. Oh, hello, friends. I didn't see you there. Give me a moment, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo. What was that noise? Oh, must have been the wind. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. I do believe I said very specifically on the roadmap for this game that the AI is something they're intending to work on. There's a Relaxosaurus. No, focus on this thing because I want it and, you know, limited amount of fucking power spheres. And this is, oh my god, that thing is huge. And it's hostile. Oh my god. Obviously it has ranged attacks and they're quite bad. Fuck, I missed. It's going to take me 50 years to reload. Snoots. Do him, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god, that did nothing. Yeesh. Snoots' attack is highly effective against it. Okay, good. Uh, it's coming up. Why is it coming after me, though? I thought Snoots was being effective. Okay, that's helpful. Snoots, Snoots, he's doing a great job. Holy shit, I can fly or jump, I can't tell which. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. I need to reload. Maybe I should throw a grenade at it, I don't know. Did some damage. Okay, it's lost a thousand health. Snoots is actually doing pretty good. She's very good. Okay, right. Oh no, Snoots! Snoots, go Birdly! Get him! Ah! Get him, Birdly! Fuck, I didn't reload. Oh my god. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I need to use all my powers for this. It's the first time that Snoots has gone down in combat, I think. She's very strong. This is just a bit much. Ugh. You can't get me behind these pillars. Ha ah, ha. Oh my god, you can, you can, you can. Ooh. Fuck, I missed. Why is this thing so devastatingly strong? Okay, that did hit. I really didn't think it would. It's at half health, roughly. Just, uh, just below. Yikes. Oh. Get him, Birdly! Use all those moves you used in a chapter... was it? Chapter 2 of fucking Deltarune? Just get him. Uh, I thought Birdly went down for a moment there. Oh! You can't get me behind here. I'm going to reload. Birdly's doing a great job. Birdly is down. Go, Woolly Pop! Go, Woolly Pop! You got him! Oh no. Ow. Yeah, that's a little bit of damage. Get him, floss friend. Oh, he's been constricted. Okay, very good. Oh yes, lovely. Please, oh, please don't do that. Oh, please don't do it. Let me see how my handgun does. That's actually a better shout because it's more consistent damage. It'll use more ammo, but we can just make more. Alright, my little woolly pop friends, do you think you can restrain him like you did before? Oh! Ah, it goes through! It goes through! 
<laughs> oh, oh boy. Throw that at him. Oh boy. Oh, go on. Oh, go on. <laughs> oh, rolling hot. One day, Relaxosaurus had an idea. Maybe it was about time for a change to send an electric shock race through its body. Sure. That was tough. Well done, Wooly Pop. Very good. Look at that small face. Look how good they- look how good she did. What a good thing. Yes. I hope you delightful friends have been building- yes, you've been making me ammo. Oh, that's plenty of ammo. Delicious. Thank you, friend. Good for bunny. So there's Bushi. That's pretty fucking cool. He does gathering, handiwork, lumbering, and transporting. But he's also a very strong pal. I think I would like to have a samurai friend. And then there's Relaxosaurus, who does watering and transporting. And Big Luxosaurus, Relaxosaurus, Saurus, Saurus, who does generating electricity and transporting. I'll bring you with me. We'll bring a Relaxosaurus into this camp. Holy shit, I forgot how big they are. Holy crap. Ah, oh, but he's so cute though. Look, look at him. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> I can lift you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to open menu. I need to pet you. Hold up. Come here, buddy. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> Yay. Come back out, Sinclair. We're always happy to see you. You're the star of the show. <laughs> Look at him go. What a hero. Yeah, there's our Bristler. She's doing great. Oh, buddy, I think you're a little too big for the hot spring. <laughs> Oh, he enjoys it anyway, though. Jesus Christ, look at all that money. These cats do great work. Oh my god. Now, it's not been long. It's been like 20 minutes, maybe half an hour since the last time I did this. And that's about a thousand gold. I'm telling you guys, big business, the biggest business. You can always rely on me to find big business in the video game. And the biggest business is getting cats to dig up gold for you. Except no less, no substitute. The biggest business is to make as much money as you can whilst doing as little as possible yourself. That's the secret, that's the art. Hello Vegeta Jr. I love you Vegeta Jr. You're gonna do a snooze. Uh, that's, well, uh, if that's comfortable for you, then that's fine. Jesus Christ, that's large. Where the fuck am I gonna put this? Holy crap. I didn't prepare a space for this. It could go there, but this entire indoor area would become split in half and be awkward. It's too big! Well, hey. This thing is fucking huge. Where am I gonna fit the rest of the fucking production lines? Because... I'm not gonna fit them inside. The building's too small. I'm gonna have to rebuild the base again at some point, and that's gonna be agony. But that'll be then. Worry about that later. Base upgrade. Weapon assembly line, high quality hot spring. Okay. Well, that's more like it. All right, well, let's uh, continue exploring, shall we? There's more places to see, presumably more boss fights to find as well, and general stuff to discover. Let's go have a look around. Up through here. Northeast. Northwest. Northwest, yes. Oh, east? Oh, I thought you said west. That's west, Patrick. You're fired again. He's like, where'd my friend go? Oh. Am I holding a gun? Not anymore. Ooh. Do you want one of those? 
I forgot to drop off all the stuff I picked up when I went from two base to one base, so I'm currently over encumbered, basically. God damn it. What? <laughs> Bron Cherry Aqua. Ooh. Very nice. I like finding all these alpha pals. So are they actually making it, or...? <laughs> I mean, Greg was just lighting the torch. You weren't doing that. Oh, Greg. Come here. Greg, come here, buddy. Greg, Greg, come back here. Greg. 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 You're a good boy, Greg. Cool. Let's roll. We have a target. Let's go have a look. I'm going to ignore them. My sanity can't take it. They are so fucking stupid. They are so abominably stupid. How am I supposed to believe that these idiots are a threat? Excuse me, do you mind? Apparently slightly to the southwest. Maybe on top of there. I'm not entirely sure. Looks like it's probably up there. We should reload the musket. I suspect this will be useful. Take that. Thank you very much. Ooh, a box. Box of ammo in it. And then they all turned hostile. Big surprise. You guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. And you can capture them as well. And they're roughly as useless as they are outside of the sphere. It's also extremely morally questionable <laughs> to do such a thing. Well, apparently there's a bronze cherry aqua around here, but I don't see it. If it's an aqua, then it's probably in the water, but does the water come out this far? I'm literally stood pretty much right on where it should be. And I don't see it. And bronze cherries are pretty big. I think I'd notice it. So I have to assume that maybe there's a cave in the, on the water area underneath where this is, which you would go inside and it would be in there. Suppose we can have a look, can't we? Yep. There's the Surfent. Yeah, that's its name. I couldn't remember. I hope they're not hostile. I don't have to fight for a shit ton of them to be a pain in the ass. Sure enough, there's the cave. Fucking called it. What are you looking at, you fucking bell end? Oh, there's a fucking lift monk effigy up there. I need to remember that. Ooh. You haven't encountered like an open world dungeon area before. But wherever this shiny friend is, it's in here. Hello? Damn. You're just hanging out in here? Waves of summer, bronze cherry aqua. Boom! Battle has commenced! Oh god. Oh god, I don't do much damage. Oh god, I don't do much damage. Oh god. Okay, right, well, there's no need to panic. Keep running. We are faster than it. Okay, this might be a lot easier than I thought. It is very durable, though. Uh. Hmm. It would probably be quicker to actually fight alongside a power rather than on top of it, just because of how much fucking health this thing has. Go for it, Bibby. Get him. Oh, uh, 
it just keeps chasing me around. It's a little intimidating, actually. The way its facial expression doesn't change. Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh my god, Bibby went for him. Jesus. Ouch. All right, I've got it. I know what. To, oh, I know what to do. Go on, Snoots. Get him. Get him, Snoots. Oh, my weapon's damaged. Fuck, that's not good. Poor timing. I'm gonna have to use the musket. Get him, Stoots! Oh, God. It flew into the air. That's a little intimidating. I fucking missed. Oh, life is bad. God damn it. I'm such a bad shot. You know what? Snoots has got this, and I think its AI might have broke. That might have woken it up, though. I think it did. You know, a musket shot to the head will wake most people up. Snoots is in danger. Snoots went down. Go, Bumble. Get him. Yeesh. Oh my god, what are those explosives? Are those explosives? They look like, yeah, they're explosives. Spooky. Oh, once I load this musket, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Fuck, I missed again. Bumble, do something. Do something, Bumble. Bumble, get him. Oh yeah, it doesn't surprise me that- Ah, oh, that didn't do it! Oh, fucking good god, I- ooh, took a big damage. Oh my god. Where will I land exactly? In the water. In the drink. I'm in the drink. Okay, so yeah, that thing's really fucking dangerous. Okay, so, my plan, you'll be pleased to know, I have quite the plan, you see? I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna shoot him a whole bunch. Uh, my pals are probably gonna smack him a bit. They'll probably die. I'll send out other ones. And eventually, you'll be so weak that we'll be able to capture him. Yes. Yes, this is the plan. Libby, you're up. Good luck. I don't like arms. Oh, kind of trapped. Oh, boy. Oh. That tackle seems like it'd be death. Straight up death. Oh, uh, ah, uh, ooh. Ooh, those are bad. Ah, uh, leave me alone, please. Bivy, Bivy, draw, draw its attention, Bivy, please, quick. Ah. Uh, oh, my God. Honestly, there's such a little difference between critical and normal damage that I may as well just shoot its body. You can do more consistent damage quicker. Yeah, Bibby went down. Okay, go, Sakai, get him. Get him, Sakai. Do brandish blade. Nice. It was highly effective, apparently. I'll have to take the game's word for it because I did not look at the damage numbers. You may as well come back, you're about to die. Youch. Go, go, boss body, get him. Oh, that was some damage. Now I'm gonna wanna try and set this up so I'm behind it, so that when the time comes, I can just hit it with a big, what if I try it now? Nope. It's not, not cause I need a better sphere, it's cause it's got too much health. Oh my God. Give that a try. Yeah. 
Come on, that's back bonus, surely. Please. Go on, then. Yes. It's scent drastically changes before and after pairing. It exudes it. The perfume of purity. Ah, oh, it's different this time. Buzz Buddy, you did a great job. You are fucking huge and absolutely terrifying. A true certified unit. Good job. Libby didn't even get murderized. No one did. This worked out. High grade technical manual. Well, I'll be. Well, another victory achieved. What's that, three bosses today? I'm on fire, and I've died multiple times, I, I acknowledge. You know, they haven't been easy wins, but they are wins, and I'll take it. Syndicate cleaner? Is that a flamethrower? Is he straight up using a flamethrower? Yes, he is. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. They have, like, a fucking machine gun. Go oh, my God. Wow, these people are serious. Wow, they ain't fucking around. Okay, interesting. Pistol time. You know what? I've decided. Jesus Christ, I forgot he was there. I've decided I'm going to research some of their weaponry, yeah? yeah? Okay, fine. If that doesn't work, how about this? Damn. I don't really want to waste too many spheres on this. Nah, fuck it. Never mind. Maybe when I get better spheres more regularly, I'll do something so silly. At the moment, just focus on, you know, dealing with that guy's a fucking problem, he is. Come on, reload the pistol. He does get staggered after a while, that's helpful. Maybe he's in a bit of danger. Oh my god, he has a shotgun. Whew. They're actually packing some firepower now. I can't believe it. Hello, sir. I hope you don't mind if I fucking shoot you. I think he did, but that's actually his problem, not my problem. So, uh, cope. Cope, I suppose. buddy i'm here to bust you out your head's already through the bars you're halfway there but these guys are fucking crazy it's a big whoa oh that's just a tree okay i thought it was some kind of spooky thing over there but still huh it's a big fucking place with relaxed sources who are scary actually and a lot of fuck I'm being ambushed, aren't I? Yep, I'm being ambushed. Stay still. Oh, 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 how's it feel, stupid? Yeah, 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 that's what happens. That's what happens. That's what happens. I didn't mean to do that, but I, I guess I did. There are a lot of syndicate bases around here. There's a cleaner over there being spooky. That did very little. I didn't even kill him. Oh, they're getting a little more capable. They're actually... A, they're actually oh, fuck. Oh, wrong button. Oh, my God. They're actually a genuine threat now. Down you go. Ooh. Fuck. Oh my god. Ah, uh, leave Bibby alone. What if we what if we rush him? Well we miss. Uh, and he has a spin attack. He can spin to win. Yeah. 
Down he goes. These guys are for real. Oh no, a doob. They captured a doob. It's not a doob, it's like a doomad or something, but I called mine doob. They've captured one. We must free it. There we go. At the mud, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. Point is, we freed it. Maybe avoid those Relaxosauruses, lest they fucking eat me. I mean, I could beat them, it's just, you know, ammo and a hassle. And I might die, I could die. It's very po- oh fuck! Well, I have to go through there now. Ever so casual, just ever so casual. Don't mind me. They ran away from me. Yes, yes, yes. This was the desired result that they would fear my power. It's good that they did. They'll last longer. Silver key. Ooh. Holy shit. Look at that. There's like a proper thick forest over there. That's clearly a volcanic area. There's a tower up there. Which probably has another boss fight in it. Structures over there. And that's not off the edge of the map. It's within the confines of it. We can go over there. Lobby. Well, There's a lot more to see. Oh, 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 oh. Lift my FG, let's go. Yes. Oh god, please don't get Skyrim stuck. Okay, okay, alright, I'm dismounting. Alright, chill, chill. I'm stood on leaves. Can't stop me, too strong. I'm stood on more leaves. I cannot physically be stopped. A lot of relaxed sources down here. It's a little intimidating. Apparently there's a fast travel point nearby. We could use that to save our progress for the day, as it were. Oh, it's a Liftmon Kefji over there. God damn it. I need to start looking for those in my off time, perhaps, because I'm not going to want to do that on camera, but they are useful things to have. Oh. I think the reason why I like having the mount so much is because I remember one of my favorite ways to play um, Shadow of War was mounted on a Karagor. Like, you could spec into Beast Riding and Beast Command uh, towards the end of the game, and that was the ones I, one of the ones I did, and it was very effective. Now, don't get me wrong, the Cat Orc, the uh, Uruk Captains in that game do have potentially resistances to virtually anything, including beasts, and some can slay beasts instantly. But they can still provide a useful distraction in many fights. Very useful. Boots of the volcano. Oh. Oh. Maybe next. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm going to go steal that effigy because I want it. Uh. E yoink. Well, we know where we're going next time. There's plenty of other areas to go. Well, if it turns out this area is too high level for us, like it's too dangerous or whatever, we have other places to go to, but I intend to check out the volcano next time. Why has my Lambo got a major injury? What did you do? What did you do? Oh, that's why they're hungry. They're all stuck down there and they can't get back up because I physically cannot connect this, right? Uh, any of you who have played this game, how fucking difficult is it to set up like stairs, right? It's virtually impossible, and I just cannot connect that. The game won't fucking let me. It's like, no, you cannot. In no way, shape, or form can I connect this stairway to this ledge. I'm gonna try multiple things, but the game won't let me. 
It occurred to me that's why this lot are down here. Because they come down here and then can't get back up. But I wanted to connect to this because this is all part of the territory of this base. But I can't connect it. Not properly. Not so the pals can get to it. And it's very annoying. Very fucking annoying. Just be built. Do you know how long it took, right? No exaggeration. Okay, while we're here, let's go over this. Do you know how long it took me to build those stairs? Fucking ages. You would think it's so simple, right? It's just two stairs connecting up to a roof leading up there. No, took me ages to f build this. Of finagling and failing to get it to work. Absolute nightmare. Apparently we have guests... They're probably quite tough. They are quite tough, Jesus Christ. I don't know how they expect to get in here though. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, Sakai, could you go take- Oh, could you go take care of him for me? My powers are pretty good, though. It's a little bit of a fucking shit fest, isn't it? Yeah, some of them have gone down. Oh, boy. Sakai, could you actually get involved, please? There we go. I should get involved as well, perhaps, instead of standing there and barking orders. Did Sakai just go down? Jeez. Get him, boss body! You're not taking down Sinclair, fuck that. They're stuck in the wall, aren't they? They're stuck they're, they're stuck in the wall. They're they're stuck in the wall. Yep, they're stuck in the wall. I don't I can't be bothered to deal with that right now. I'm busy. I mean, I believe it has a built-in bug fix where if they don't invade the base within a certain amount of time, they just automatically fail. Damn, though, they really bodied my palace. I need to sort this out. I need to spend some time on this staircase and actually get it to work, or just not have it at all, because this is this is too much of a problem that they can come here and murder my palace like that. All right, well, actually, that's all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. That was rather rough at the end there. I can't believe they said, like, a crew of level 30s to come fuck me up. Pals did very well, but that wasn't the entire base's worth of pals. It was some of the stronger ones, but... Yeah, they were stuck down there by themselves, and I think some of them were, like, hungry or whatever, so they probably weren't fighting at full strength anyways. But that was still pretty rough. We could actually take a Mamorist soon. We're actually getting pretty close to that point. That's quite exciting, but that will be in the future. Next time, probably explore the volcano unless it's too dangerous, at which point we'll go somewhere else. But that'll be then. This is now. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Draft, Dresso, Aiden Kelly, Sion Distance, LOL, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewarp, Majoko, Maiman, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Lord Skullington, Jess Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dream of Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and KT 800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. I don't know, I can only keep repeating myself, I guess, is that the game's very cool. I enjoy existing in the world, I suppose, and I really enjoy finding new pals. I really do enjoy that. I like finding new ones, seeing what they're all about, often having some kind of rather frantic boss fight with them, and then eventually capturing them and then coming back and seeing what they're all about. It's enjoyable. Uh, there are a fair amount of pals in this game. I think there's like around 100 or over 100. Not tons, not as many as Pokemon, but nothing in this world seems to have that many species, including real life. 
I'm joking, of course. There are millions of species and some species in real life, but there are a lot in Pokemon. Point is, there are quite a few here, but not an infinite amount, but I'm looking forward to finding them, though I'll be sad once I've found them all. But when I do, I hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.